Hey guys, I just wanted to give a little content warning before we get into this episode. We do talk about eating disorder recovery, so if that is a sensitive subject for you, maybe go watch one of the other episodes I have linked in the description, but I hope you guys like it. I'm Sierra Schultze, and I'm all about inspiring women of all sizes to be confident and rock their curves. I know that gaining confidence is a journey, and I want to help you kickstart the process. So in this new series, we're hitting them all together. Girls of all different shapes and sizes from different walks of life are joining the Curvy Crew and getting a confidence makeover. Instead of trying to change your outward appearance, this makeover focuses on working through body image struggles and finding clothes that flatter your figure to make you feel beautiful inside and out. I want to show that it's not about the size of the dress. It's about how the dress makes you feel. It's Sierra Schultz's Confidence Makeover. Today we are filming the fourth episode of Confidence Makeover and I really can't believe it's already been four months. It's just been amazing to see so many women from different walks of life really like come into themselves and become more confident and I just can't wait to do that today with Rachel. Hi, my name is Rachel. Uh, I'm 25 years old and I live here in Los Angeles. I have my own YouTube channel called Ladle by Ladle where I talk about my own personal recovery from anorexia and body positivity, self-love and confidence and all of that and I am so excited to be here with Sierra today. From the instant that I saw Rachel's submission video, I knew that I wanted to have her on this show because she has such an inspiring story and she's come so far and she's so open to sharing that story to try to help other people who've been through what she has. Meeting Sierra was so much fun. I was like low key nervous because you never know how someone online is going to translate to like in person, but she was so sweet and welcoming. Like right away, I felt super comfortable talking to her. Well, I'm so excited to have you here today because I feel like you have such a unique perspective and also like trying to find your personal style is yeah. gonna be really fun. Cause that's one of the <laughs> things that you mentioned in your email yeah. was that you have a lot of like pieces that you like, but you have trouble putting together that yes. whole outfit. Definitely, I have trouble putting together outfits, specifically outfits that are like appropriate for mm. work. Like right now I'm wearing a mini skirt and a crop top and like <laughs> I'm great, but I can't go to work like this. Yeah, I feel that. Even though I wish I could. This is like how I feel most comfortable in my personal style, but it's super inappropriate for work. So we have to find a way to take that style and that vibe that you like with an outfit like this and put it into something that you can wear at work. Because I work in a really laid back industry in television, I never was forced to wear a particular uniform or uh, dress a certain way for work. So I kind of just continued my college style into my adult life. And the older I get and the more I advance in my career, it feels inappropriate the way that I dress at work. And I just don't know how to fix it because my personal style begs for crop tops and small shorts and skirts. And I am really looking forward to today to finding some work clothes because I am in desperate need as an adult woman who still dresses like an 18 year old. And I work in television, so it's really low key. Cool. But I so you don't need like a suit. I don't need a suit, <laughs> but I, I'm kind of the, like I'm not the boss, but I'm in charge of my manager position. Yeah. So I want to present myself as mm -hmm. like a little more professional than I naturally would, if that makes sense. You want to come off as like the lady in charge, like the yes. boss babe, like exactly. command attention. I know what you mean, because I feel like especially as like a woman in the entertainment industry, people automatically like call you sweetie and yeah. like condescend. And uh -huh. I feel like part of kind of trying to like diminish that stereotype is wearing something that gives off that vibe of like, I am in charge, yeah. don't call me sweetie. <laughs> exactly, exactly what I'm looking for, yeah. So then maybe what we can do today is like find an outfit that works for work and then another one that you could kind of like go either or like work or weekend look and yeah. then something just out of the park for your hero piece. That would be great, that sounds amazing. Awesome. <laughs> so like, what do you think has kept you from really dressing the way that you want to right now? I was anorexic when I was younger and I was so okay with every single thing that I wore when I was younger because I was thinner and I felt like everything looked good on me mm -hmm. and gaining weight, recovering from my eating disorder. It took me a really long time to feel like those things looked good on me again. Recovery was this decision that I, I was just so hesitant to make because I had worked so hard to get this body and I couldn't imagine giving it all up. But what I didn't realize is that yes, I was giving up that body, but I was also giving up that 
depressing, isolating loneliness and all of the major health malfunctions that come with being severely underweight. So I decided to make the choice to recover and it was the greatest decision I ever made and the hardest decision I ever made and the hardest few years lied ahead of me the minute I chose to recover. But I'm just so grateful that I did because with every pound of flesh that I gained back, I gained a pound more of my soul back and I became more and more me every single day. And as I felt my personality returning and I felt my confidence returning, I knew that I had made the right choice and there was no looking back and there never will be looking back for me ever again. I am just so happy to finally be me again. And I, I regret the years that I wasted thinking that being thin was more important than being me. I feel like one of the hard things with that too is it's easy to look back on like old pictures when you were thinner and be like, oh, like things look so good on me then. But in that picture, you don't see like the hurt. Exactly. And you don't see like the sadness and the struggle. You just see like a thin body. Yeah. And so I think it's really important to look back on that and be like, just because that looked good good on me or what I think looks good, yeah. I'm so much better off now. And you can still 100%. rock those things in the body that you have now. I definitely don't ever want to go back to yeah. her because I- She's she gone, bye bad. sis. Bye bye. Thank you, next. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but now that I am here, I'm still just like so lost fashion wise. I just yeah. have no idea. When you decide to recover from any eating disorder, um, anorexia in my case, you have to simultaneously go on this like self-love journey because choosing recovery means you're choosing to gain weight and or lose weight or whatever for whatever eating disorder you have either way you're choosing to have your body change drastically so that your mental health can clear up so i mean therapy <laughs> years of therapy years of staring at myself in the mirror and telling myself i'm beautiful even when i didn't believe it has gotten me to the point where now i can stare at myself in the mirror and believe that i'm beautiful even though i am like 50 to 60 pounds heavier i'm just like such a better, happier person. Yeah. And um, that's because I was I was okay and I was willing to go on that self-love journey. And a lot of that was triggered by social media because when I was recovering, Instagram kind of became a big thing. Yeah. And that can go one or, one or two ways. Yeah. A lot of times it can trigger an eating disorder because there's a lot of unhealthy bodies. But simultaneously, there's this incredible body positive movement, which I'm sure you know all <laughs> about. You're a part of it. But like um, that really helped me because there are so many women who are larger who are super confident and I was just like, I can totally do that too. Yeah. And that was a really huge part of my journey. The people that you allow to influence your life shape you in so many ways, whether that's people in real life, your friends, your family, and people who you follow online, it can really make or break how you feel about your own body. It's so important to choose your influences wisely. Yes. Like curate what you see. Yes, yeah. exactly. Like if you follow a bunch of pages with unrealistic body ideals, it's gonna make you feel like you should look like that. Yeah. But if you're following pages that are making you feel beautiful and confident, and even for me, like I follow a lot of like body positive bloggers, and I know that if I'm having a bad day and I look at a photo of someone who's like my size or a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller, and they are like rocking a crop top or rocking a body contrast, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, they look amazing. I wish I could look like that. And then I'm like, wait, I can. Yeah. Like, that's okay. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about um, your current struggles with your body. Are there okay. any fears that you have with dressing your body? Anything you like to stay away from, but that you've always wanted to try? Yeah, I, you know, I have little remnants of body dysmorphic disorder. Okay. So it's really hard for me to say because with that, and I'm still working on it, but with that comes like days where I'll look at myself in the mirror and I think I can rock anything. And then the very next day, I'll look at myself in the mirror and I just only want to wear large t-shirts and sweatpants. And I feel like I can't rock anything. Yeah. So it really varies for me, but I will say a constant is that I typically don't wear tight clothes around my stomach. And I, I'm like almost like ashamed to admit that. I feel the same way. Yeah, I, I wish I was super confident, but it's just the way my stomach looks and tight clothing, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Well, and as women, we're <laughs> like so, we have this like ingrained in our head of like this Disney princess waist. Yeah. And that like that is feminine and that is beautiful. And like, there's nothing wrong with having a tummy. Yeah. Like it's okay to have like a little bit of chub. Absolutely. And I am like so for that for every single other person in the but world. Then but then when it comes me. to you, you're like, uh, yeah, I feel that. I bought a really tight dress to wear out, like to go out for the night mm -hmm. and I the other day and I put it on and I immediately took it off. 
I know Rachel is a little bit insecure about her stomach, which I feel like almost every girl in the world, no matter their size, has probably struggled with that at one point or another. So for Rachel's Fashion Fears outfit, I think finding something that is maybe a little bit tight around her stomach, but not too overwhelming, will be a good way to start to push those boundaries. But I really, I do wanna kind of tread that line with you because I know that you do have a history of body dysmorphia, and so I don't wanna put you in anything that's gonna like trigger you or make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, you can go crazy, cause okay. like whatever. I wanna, I wanna <laughs> tell that here. line though, I yes. don't wanna, I appreciate that. I don't do want to do anything that's that. going to make you uncomfortable, but I do want to give you that little nudge that you might need to be like, that's okay to wear that. You look great. Okay. All right. I'm, all right. I'm excited. So tell me a little bit about your style now. Like, what do you dress like on the daily? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, this is like weekend wear. Okay. I would say, well, now that it's winter, you know. Yeah. Um, usually it's like shorts and a crop top. Mm -hmm. And then uh, during work, I found these work pants that I kind of like at, um, Unique low. Okay. So I bought like six of them. <laughs> Me. I find I literally have like 10 pairs of these leggings. Yeah, that's, oh, I have so many leggings. I have a drawer full of leggings. But yeah, I usually wear these, this one work pants in one of two colors that I own and uh, a polo or like a t-shirt. I have a lot of nerdy t-shirts because I'm a huge dork and I have like tons of Harry Potter and Star Wars and Disney t-shirts. What's your Harry Potter house? Oh, Slytherin. Oh, you're Slytherin? Oh, okay, hardcore. I'm a Gryffindor. Okay. So Ooh, we're like yikes. on the other ends of the spectrum. Oh, wow. <laughs> if finding a personal style seems overwhelming to you, putting together a mood board is a great way to really pinpoint the style that you want to have. On Rachel's mood board, she had a lot of neutral colors, some really simple patterns in there, and a lot of basics. So even though Rachel's current style doesn't match this mood board, now going into our shopping trip, we know exactly what to look for. So maybe we could find like a really cool, like neutral, muted, professional looking dress for work um, and Beautiful. then for your uniform we can find something that works both for weekend and for work yeah in this kind of style that you're wearing yeah but a little bit more on the professional side that's exactly what I'm looking for awesome okay I'm just so excited <laughs> Me too. you ready to hit them all I oh my god I was born ready <laughs> <laughs> let's do it Rachel has such a fun and unique, kind of more trendy modern style, and it's so different from mine, so I'm really excited to go out of that box a little bit and find some exciting pieces for Rachel. When you go into the dressing room, not everything is gonna be that perfect yes, aha moment, but that doesn't mean that there's any problems with your body. You don't need to change your body, you just need to find different clothes that work for your figure. There was a couple things that didn't work, but overall, most of the stuff that she pulled looked so cute on me, and I was just honestly so happy to have someone who knew what they were doing shopping for me. While we were shopping, Rachel was telling me about how at some stores she'll be a large, some stores she'll be an extra small. There's just really no way to tell. So don't get down on yourself if sometimes you have to size up. It's not a big deal. It's just a number on the inside of the tag. What really matters is that fit. Okay guys, so we just got back from shopping. We actually have a brand new segment in the Confidence Makeover. I have Stephanie here, who is a wonderful makeup artist, and she's gonna be helping us highlight and bring out some of Rachel's favorite features about herself and her face to help complete the confidence transformation. Getting my makeup done was such an unexpected treat. I had no idea that was coming, and it was so awesome to feel like very much pampered today. Um, just made today even more amazing. Well, I'm super excited to be here with you guys thank you for having so me so excited to have you i'm so happy to meet you you're gorgeous we got some fun color in your hair <laughs> you have a nice complexion good lots brows, of personality and lots yeah. of personality which makes yeah. my job funner and more easier because i can kind of play off of that so tell me what do you really like about yourself? What makes you feel confident? What are your favorite features? Um, definitely my eyes. I get a ton of compliments on my of course, eyes. Look at those things. Yeah, <laughs> and the purple hair is like really accentuating the color. It. So totally. it makes it. them pop. Yeah. Sure. And then I used to hate them, but when, as I've gotten older, I love my cheekbones. Because when I was little, I hated that they like were kind of so like nice. that, but now I'm into them. So I would say those are like my favorite parts of my face. How do you feel about color? Do you like oh, something girl. more neutral? <laughs> do you want some color in your makeup? Do you like to go a little more natural? So I have the choice between doing like an intense purple look and a fun neutral look and um, obviously I'm going to choose the intense purple look because uh, that's just who I am. <laughs> 
we're gonna focus on skin and makeup okay. because the prep is really important too. I want you to feel pretty without your makeup. I so we're gonna that. do it from the inside out, okay? I oh, love that. Perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> you are the expert here. Stephanie's got you. You're in good hands. So I'm gonna leave you guys to this Perfect. and I can't wait to see the whole transformation come together. Yay. Okay, we'll see you. Thank ya. you. All right. You ready to get started? Yes. Yay, let's get let's this, do let's it. Let's get this going. You look okay, so on. good. So I, cool. I can't wait for you to see it. Okay. You're glowing. I haven't seen it. I'm You're so like excited. a purple queen with like all the colors and all the sparkles. You don't even know how happy that makes me because I'm <laughs> obviously obsessed with the color purple. <laughs> well, let's make you just a little bit happier. Spin the chair around. Spin it around. Holy. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Wow, I look so look different. <laughs> Holy crap. It looks so good. Your eyes are popping. This so is like what I wish I like could do every single day in my life. This is amazing. Oh my god, I feel incredible. I feel so intense. Like I need to take a thousand Instagram photos. Right <laughs> <laughs> How do I do this all the time? I'm like, sorry, I'm posing. All right. Well, we actually do have a little something for you that oh, Stephanie brought. I do, I do, what? I do. No, no, no. So this is for you. Oh. This is just like a little like self care package. <gasps> a little bit of makeup. A little oh bit of skincare. God, this is so so oh you got gosh. a little starter pack to oh. put some new pieces for your new look into your new bag. Thank you so much. You're oh welcome. my god, that's so nice. You're welcome. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh wait, I can't cry out. <laughs> mm. Makeup is an awesome way to really enhance your favorite features about yourself and highlight the things that make you feel most confident. Makeup isn't about hiding your insecurities. It's not about covering up the things you don't like. It's about really embracing and highlighting the things that make you feel beautiful and confident. All right, so we are ready to put all the pieces together and get the final reveal. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. We had <laughs> so much fun going shopping, and I feel like we found some looks that really fit you and your aesthetic and work for work and also for weekend. Definitely. There's some mix Definitely and match in there. Definitely some good work outfits. I cannot wait to wear to work. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is your uniform. So this is an outfit that you can recreate with different basics in your closet to create a similar look with a million different pieces. Yeah. So what we have are these awesome mom jeans, high-waisted, light wash, a little bit of distressing from Reformation. These we got at Nordstrom. And then over the top, we have this nice little black crop top that's totally your style, really similar yeah. to what you're wearing today. Absolutely. <laughs> and what's great about this is pairing this with the high-waisted jeans, you're not gonna show too much midriff where it's not appropriate for your job. Yeah, which I really, I really appreciate. <laughs> yes, so we've got that. And then over the top, also from Topshop, we have this awesome little kind of like blazer cardigan hybrid. It's like a little bit less structured so yeah. that it's lighter weight, it's softer, it's easier to move in, but it still gives that polish boss babe put together look how do I look oh do I look? my gosh you tell me because you look amazing um, damn girl <laughs> you were gonna yes Yes, oh my gosh. It was so awesome to see Rachel's confidence really come out in this outfit. It matched her style, it matched her personality, and it made her body look amazing. Or I should say, her body already looked amazing, and these clothes just highlighted that even more. This first outfit is so me. It just feels so perfect for me and my body. These jeans make me feel so confident. I've never had such well-fitting jeans before in my life, and the brand Reformation is so important to me because they're so sustainable and eco-friendly. I'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow. Please do, and send me <laughs> pictures, because you look amazing. Oh so God, cute, and the so blazer happy. over the top, 
yeah. makes it look like what we're talking about, like commanding attention. Like, exactly. yes, I'm trendy. Yes, I look good. But also, I I'm like in it. charge. I like that it's like a little bit oversized. Mm -hmm. And also because like I feel like without it, this outfit is still like a really cute like date night. You know what I mean? Or like weekend. But then with it, I'm just like, it's we're having a time. meeting. <laughs> I would have never thought to put this blazer over it, but it just looks so cute, a little oversized, and it just brings everything together in such a more professional way. I'm just really happy with the way I look in this outfit. So, it's so cute. Do you feel like this is the style that you were going for? Absolutely, like I literally feel like I look like some of those pictures that I sent you. Especially yeah. like with this, I mean, I just, um, like, hello. Who are Hi. You? You're hot. <laughs> this is a great outfit that she can recreate with lots of items in her closet, and it's appropriate enough for work, but still embraces her style and the things that make her feel confident. <laughs> so, fashion fears. What we got for this is an awesome, kind of like overall style jumpsuit. And I know you were nervous about things that were tight around your stomach, yes. and this is definitely a little more fitted around there. Yes. But it's fit and flare. So even though it's a little bit tighter up here at the waist, it flares out and has loose fitting legs. So it's not gonna overwhelm you. It's right. not gonna be like a bodycon dress. You right. can rock it, it's comfortable. <laughs> and we got this awesome yellow sweater from Urban Outfitters. These are both from Urban. And layering this underneath is a really fun weekend look. It's got that pop of color, but you could also wear a neutral underneath like the white shirt you were wearing today mm -hmm. for more like office, business, ready to work look. Right, yeah, cause I feel like the pinstripes in this are just like business bitch. You yes. know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then adding in the color underneath gives it a little bit more like fun right. weekend vibes. Right, right, right. You ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> My gosh, you love. Hi. Hi, I love. Okay, I more than love. More than love. How oh. do you love, or how do you feel? I mean, I feel like, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like high class. Yes. <laughs> but still the right with word. that bit of edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No, I. Like when you picked this up in the rack and you were like, do you like overalls? And I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. And then I looked at it and I was like, I'm not gonna like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put it on and I was like, holy crap, I like this. Yes. I like this a lot. I feel like, mm-hmm. It's My doing every, your butt looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this striped overall jumpsuit was so cute over the yellow sweater, and there's so many different ways that she can use these overalls to make different outfits and different looks. And yeah, it is a little tighter here, but you know what, the stripes make it so yep. much better. <laughs> the stripes make it flattering, and because it does have that like kind of fit and flare style with the looser fitting legs, mm -hmm. it's not overwhelmingly tight. It's yeah. pushing that boundary, it's kind of like testing those lines a little bit, but it's not gonna make you feel like, I need to go home and change. No, it's really cute. Like, really, really cute. And I'm honestly so glad you picked it up because I would have never picked it up on my own. I love it. And the yellow with your purple hair is like, what were we saying, Billie Eilish vibes? Ooh. Yes. Love her. Totally. I'm like 10 years older than her, but I'll take it. I loved how confident this piece made me feel, this jumpsuit made me feel, because honestly, it's, Amazing when you feel confident like this and when you have that that feeling you just have to own it and work it and let your body Do what it naturally wants to do and it really feels like my Vibe and like I'm just it, it nails it. I love it I was really on the lookout for like pinstripes and black and white stripes because of that one picture on your mood board okay. And even though those were pants when I saw this I was getting the same vibe from it. Yeah, so, but it's like cooler. Yeah, it's, it's, cooler it's like those girl. but way cooler <laughs> Okay, so let's get into these hero pieces. No, pieces with an S. That's the right. first time in confidence makeover history. I'm just extra like that. Yep, we've got <laughs> two hero pieces. They were both great, we couldn't choose. So sometimes you just gotta do both. So the first thing we have is this awesome black kind of floral print dress. And what I love about this for you is it's black, so it's more neutral, like you wanted, mm -hmm. but it still has those pops of color that really show your personality and how much like vibrance that you love. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. let's see it. <laughs> Every time you're talking about this, I'm like, give me the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, great, I'm gonna go put this on. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. What I love about this, we were talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. When you tried it on in the dressing room, it was like cute little floral dress, but with this makeup and the hair all done together, it's like a little bit more like 
Badass bitch with flowers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we have two hero pieces because I'm extra as and I just can't help it. Um, she's so nice to have done that for me. I didn't even realize we'd gotten more than we were supposed to while we were shopping, but this black dress is so cute on me. It, I haven't worn a dress like this in so long. It used to be in my style and I've just sort of lost that along the way. And I'm so glad we picked this dress out because I feel like it really completes who I am. It's fun, it's cute, it can be fierce, it can be flirty. It can be good for the office, good for a first date. I'm just really feeling myself in this dress. I'm just, I'm really happy with the way all these clothes are fitting me. Like I feel really comfortable in this dress, but also I look hella cute. And yet again, I feel like I could command my office in this outfit. Yeah. Honestly, all these outfits, like, but I could also like, this is like a date outfit. Like I'm just so happy with the versatility of this dress. It's really cute. It's so <laughs> cute and it looks great on your figure because it does have that fit and flare look. So it's giving you that hourglass shape. It's defining your waist, but it's not clinging to anything. Yeah. It's still kind of like oh a shift God. dress. It's not yeah. It's not too tight. Especially with these tights, this dress makes a perfect work look. It's very professional, but it's still edgy and still very Rachel. And now let's get into the last hero piece. Oh, that's right. So, that's right. We have yes, more. we have one more. <laughs> so we talked about how much Rachel loves mixing up different textures mm -hmm. and different fabrics. So when we saw this really awesome corduroy, right? That's what this is called? Like velvety corduroy? It's really soft, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, whatever it is, it's soft. <laughs> It's comfortable, it's fall, and it looks very you. And also, Rachel didn't have any crop sweaters, and I think crop sweaters are a great way to flatter a curvy figure without like swallowing up your body with a big sweater. Yeah. So, let's try this on with those pants from earlier. Okay. That's gonna be a great look. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go do that. I love this orange sweater and the way she had me tuck it in, which I would have never thought about, but it looks so, so, so good once I did it. Doing a French tuck in the front, especially with a piece that's a little bit more bulky like this, is a great way to define your waist without bunching up under the jeans, if you know what I mean. It's super, I feel like it makes me look really cool. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it does. what I'm always trying to do. So I didn't do it. <laughs> and I love the contrast of the sweater with your hair. Like the warm and the cool tones. This purple hair was a good idea. It was a great <laughs> idea. I love it. It's making all the outfits work even more for you. See mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel so good. I love these outfits so much. I just feel, I feel cool and I feel professional. I feel like my age, but also trendy, which is so hard to do as you get older and you just want to keep dressing like you did in college. And I'm just so happy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, much. I'm so happy. This is so, this was so great. This was like the best day too. Like it I got my We had so on. much fun. But before you go, yes. I do have one more thing for you. Oh my so goodness. now that your confidence makeover is complete, you are officially oh. part of the Curvy Crew. Yes. There you oh go. Oh my god, this is so cute. I was so honored and happy when Sierra gave me that curvy crew crop top. I like low-key always wanted one and I'm so 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 happy that I she gave me one, which was so nice and she didn't have to do that. Rachel's confidence makeover is complete and she is part of the curvy crew. I am so happy that she's become more confident throughout today. If you guys want to join the curvy crew and spread that message of body positivity, head over to thecurvycrew.com. It helps support this show and these episodes and if you tag us in a picture on Instagram, we'll probably repost you. So check it out. Um, this is like exactly the one, here's the shirt that I like the most out of here. Really? <laughs> too, yeah. Oh, good. Oh my God, I hope I get a white crop. Top. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. No, this is yours. so, this is so nice. Oh my God, thank you so much. Of course. This is amazing. Oh, so, so awesome. I'm just so lucky <laughs> to have this opportunity. I feel incredibly blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and like sharing and being open and you sharing your story online is gonna help so many people. And I just, it means so much to me that you were willing to share that journey because I know it's really difficult to do and I know yeah. it's difficult to open up, but you're helping so many people. And I think it just shows that like, it gets so much better and like yes. you can you can gain weight you can recover and be so much happier so much more beautiful so much more vibrant and not lose any piece of yourself in that process i came on to this body confidence makeover because even though i already love my body and i feel like i can really work it i just didn't have the wardrobe to match that level of confidence and now i finally do i finally feel like i have clothes 
that represent my aesthetic and also are appropriate and fit really well on my body and I'm just so happy to finally be able to dress the way I feel inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had so much fun hanging out with Rachel today and I just love getting to see different women from different walks of life really come into themselves and become more confident. If you enjoyed this episode of Confidence Makeover, there is a card right there where you can binge the rest of the series. We put out new episodes on the last Friday of every month. So be looking out for our next episode and I will see you guys next time. Bye.